the playoffs and right now we are thrilled to welcome in left back for the New York Red Bulls John Token. Hi John, how are you doing this morning? I'm doing good, I'm doing good. Thanks for having me on guys. Oh, we're so happy to have you. Okay, I, I have to admit I'm a little disappointed that you have a hat on to start this because your hair is one of my, my favorite talking points in soccer. I'm a big soccer hair person. You always deliver. Yeah, no, I'm, I've been trying something new with the short hair. Um, it's actually getting quite long right now. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hopefully going to get a trim today and uh, we'll see what happens. See what happens. It's All right. Like Jay Balvin. I, <laughs> it's a good look. All right, let's chat about uh, this Hudson River Derby. You guys won the first installment earlier this season back in May, but right. considering what's at stake right now and the fact that you guys are right behind NYCFC in the standings right now, is there a little extra fire in the belly heading into this one? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's already a, a high-stakes game, and the fact that where we are in the standings, you know, right behind them, um, you know, I think that adds to the fuel a little bit. But, um, you know, whenever we play them, we don't need that uh, that extra motivation. Um, you know, just from playing them, that's there already. And, yeah, we've been having a good, good training week of prep, and, yeah, we're ready. John, I'm curious. Your squad seems to be struggling in front of goal. How do you, how do you figure out – ways to, to start producing and, and scoring goals. What, what would be the key? What have been some of the struggles and reasons for the lack of, of goals? Yeah, to be honest, I've, uh, I've been struggling this year to, uh, to come up with something. Um, I think really it comes down to individuals just wanting to take the moment, wanting to take the chance, um, you know, wanting to be that guy to, uh, to put the ball in the back of the net. And, you know, we need that for the rest of the year because we're not in a good spot right now. And, we don't want to be that first team in, in 13 years not to uh, to make the playoffs. So, um, yeah, hopefully this week and you can see this t this uh, ship turn around. Do you see one person stepping up and being that guy, or is this going to be a committee? Yeah, I think if, if we're talking NYCFC, Omir Fernandez somehow always seems to find the back of the net, um, you know, against this team. So, uh, you know, the Bronx guy, hopefully he can, can give us a moment this weekend. Um, but yeah, hopefully, you know, any, anybody in the starting 11 or comes off the bench, um, you know, wants to be that guy and can put the ball in the net. John, so before I ask my question in the prep doing doing prep for this interview, apparently you don't even respond to John. Do they call you something else? Yeah, so <laughs> that's funny. I go by J -Mai. It's short J for John Michael. That's been my nickname since I was oh, since I could walk. Um, you know, my uncle gave it to me. Um, and yeah, John, unless you're looking me in the eyes, it, it doesn't really register with me anymore. <laughs> 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 All right. Yeah, so J -Mai. J -Mai it is. Do your teammates right. call you J-Mai? Yeah, they call me J-Mai. Oh my um, gosh. You know, a little bit of time, but, um, I, I always know I'm in trouble. If somebody calls me John Michael, then, then there's a problem. Ooh. All right. Well, J-Mai, now I'm going to ask <laughs> a question. Now that I know what your proper name is, um, <laughs> You're from the area. You grew up playing soccer in the academy at Red Bull. What's been your feeling and your relationship with the Derby against NYCFC? Yeah, it's super special. I think actually the first Derby I played in, maybe it was the second, I, I made a horrible mistake, which led to, uh, to a goal that they scored. Um, so it got off to a rocky start. But now, um, yeah, it's super special, especially me being from the area. Um, you know, there's an extra drive for me in these games, and I just want to beat them. And, you know, I actually heard, was Alfredo Morales on the show yesterday? Oh, he was. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so uh, first off, uh, <laughs> he's saying we're not from New York. Yeah, okay, but, you know, they play home games in our stadium. Uh, and they also play in a baseball stadium. So so what does that make them? Um, Ooh. A baseball keep team. Keep it going, Jay. I Mai. like this, Jay. Mai. Jay, Mai, keep it going. Let's go. Because this guy right here, you, you're say, triggering actually, him. John, I got a question for you. Uh, <laughs> I'm an NYCFC season ticket holder, but don't hold it against me. Um, I do want to know uh, what tactics are you guys going to use? And I promise <laughs> I will not tell this to Alfredo Morales and the guys. No, I actually have a question. Uh, this rivalry. I, there's a lot of bickering between the fans about, you know, what state you play in, baseball stadium, so on and so forth. For someone who grows up in the area, especially in northern uh, New Jersey, I grew up in Newark myself, uh, you kind of consider yourself all like the tri-state area. Is yeah. this, where does this hit on the rivalries of local sports teams? Is this 
as big as Yankees Mets to you and your family. Where does this rivalry touch base? Yeah, I mean, look, my dad is uh, all out New York guy, so I think you know the Giants and and the Cowboys and all that stuff, and and those New York rivalries, I think they hit a little bit different. But also, I'm his son, so I think for him, maybe it's it's up there, um, you know, with those other sports teams. For me personally, it's the only you know rivalry I've really played in. So uh, you know, I'm fans of of teams and they have rivalries, but um, yeah, it's just super special for our family because you know it's new for us and. Uh, yeah, we always want a victory. Okay, then I'm going to ask you about another quick New York, uh, New Jersey rivalry. Uh, there's a gentleman on our panel right now. His name is Nico. He thought all uh -huh. bagels were the same, and then he tried a New Jersey bagel, and it changed his life. <laughs> okay. Uh, what is your favorite bagel in New Jersey? Yeah, so honestly, it's, it's right around the street. It's called Chatham Bagel. Uh, fantastic. Um, the perfect amount of dough. Um, not too doughy, but but um, just enough. And yeah, come check out Chatham Bagel. I'm oh. not just saying that my hometown. So it'll change his life it's, is what you're saying. He's saving it on his he's phone. He's literally writing speak. it down yeah. in his he's phone. He's literally Bagels, putting it right now. 49 right. miles away. I can get there in, a, in an hour, 39 minutes. There you go. Oh, perfect time. Easy drive. He won't hang out with me in Brooklyn, but he'll go to Chatham <laughs> okay. Bagel. That, <laughs> Jay, my, that's saved. Good intel. Done. Saved it on my phone. Yeah, if you want to, if you want to, pork roll, egg, and cheese, though, go to Pascarella Bros, which is also in Chatham. You call it pork roll? You're from Northern Jersey, yeah. huh? Oh, God, here we go. Yeah, yeah don't roll. get him started. Uh. Wow. Taylor Ham or pork roll? Oh, it's Taylor Ham all day, but anyway, I'm going to let you all hold right. that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, Jay, my, so awesome to see you named to the MLS All-Star roster this year. What was that whole experience like? What was the, the time in D.C. like for you? No, it was super cool. Obviously, you know, the on-field result was was nothing what we wanted. Um, but yeah, just to play with some of the best guys around the league and to get into a new environment and, you know, play with, you know, a lot of superstars from the league, um, which I now see when we're playing their club teams. You know, we're, we're I wouldn't say we're friends, but, you know, we know each other now. Um, so that's cool. It was cool to build new relationships and, yeah, to play Arsenal. Um, was insane um you know they're 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 quality team and yeah it didn't go our way but um yeah the overall experience was amazing and you know wayne being our coach as well was super cool and the whole thing was amazing and i hope i can be on on future all-star teams jay my what team did you support growing up oh god <laughs> uh i'm an everton fan so wow uh, oh, i did not goodness. see that good god yeah. So, J. Mai, we, we've done a, a little bit of predicting the future oh in the Eastern Conference. And uh, a team that you, you played recently, Inter-Miami, uh, we see them going on a run. What, what were your thoughts of this, in, this new look Inter-Miami side? And, and obviously, Messi came in as a substitute and did the business. Were you yeah. as impressed with them as, as everyone else is? Or do you think it, teams will finally adjust and, and they'll, they'll be brought back down to reality? Yeah, I think what you said at the end is, is perfect. I think for a lot of players and that first time playing them, I think is a bit of a, uh, how would you say it? I don't know. It's more of an event than, than you actually focusing on a match and, and getting three points. You know, it's easy to say, don't worry about Messi, don't worry about Messi. But these players have grown up their whole lives. Some haven't played him yet. You know, um, this guy's the greatest of all time. Um, so, yeah, I, I think the first time you play him, it's more of a spectacle and it's hard to to really grasp that you're still trying to get three points. It's more just, all right, let's worry about Messi, Messi, Messi. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can see them going on a run for sure. You know, whenever you have him on your team, on his, uh, on their team, um, you know, that's a good feeling. And, you know, they're already starting to climb the table. Um, but I think next year uh, it could be totally different, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. But they're really good. They're really good. And How, he's very good. How many times did you watch that goal over? When when he Mate. that pass, I mean, <laughs> before was... the game, I'm like, don't be a highlight reel. And, uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm pretty I sure everyone myself. says that before they step on the pitch yeah, with Messi. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I even thought I was in a fairly decent position, but clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> Happens to the best it of does. us, Jamie. Um, exactly. All right. Before we let you go, I know we we hit on the hair thing earlier, but I mean, you've had some awesome hairstyles uh, throughout your career. If, 
if the New York Red Bulls go on a little playoff run, if you make it into the postseason, do you have plans for the hair? Is there a certain look that we're building towards? What have you got for us? Yeah, it'll be something special for sure. Um, I mean, look at this. <laughs> that mullet was wild. That, that was a crazy a mullet different. that you had. And you look like a different person with different <laughs> yeah. hair. Your it's barber crazy. must be stressed when you walk in. Well, look at, look at that picture on the wall that we had. I mean, it's just uh, variation. It's, yeah, no, for sure. If there's if there's a playoff uh, spot waiting for us, um, we'll have to change it up. Um, the guys usually usually like to do a, a mustache, a playoff mustache thing. Um, hey, don't do it. Don't do it. Can't. You, you can't you, be the only you one. You regret the photos, so I'll tell you right do now. It. Just don't do it. Don't shave for like three weeks. Let's <sighs> see what happens. Maybe you could just dye it all blonde, you know? <laughs> well, we'll have something good waiting. Um, and yeah, yeah, super excited. Awesome. Well, we look forward to seeing that, J-Mai. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Next time, we're going to make you come into the studio in person. How does that sound? Yes, yes, since he brought the uh, the other guy in. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the other he guy. Also, he, brought, he brought gifts, too. I'm just saying. Yeah. Have a good game. Have a good hey. game. I hope you lose, dude. <laughs> I don't, we, we, we don't need a shirt. I just need bagels. That's it. Bagels, right. even Thanks, better. Guys. All right, John, thank you so much. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. All right, we are going to take a break. Ali Trosmartin will be